started calling them bitches. Look. Really? Yeah. That's what people do. I had to work. Right? Yeah. They call they call those bitches. This is Luke. Swearing to them. Twelve and forty nine. I am come to send fire and yeah. earth. And what will I if it I mean, be already kindled? Going into the ghetto, but I have a baptism to be baptized with. And, and, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. Read that again. Speak up, speak up. This is what Jesus said. This is what Jesus said, y'all. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you, man, rather the vision. So Yahweh Shai said, suppose I come to give peace on earth. So Jesus didn't come to send peace on earth. Why do you think we come to send peace on earth? We ain't coming for peace, man. Most I said he's a man of war. For from his court, there shall be five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father. The mother against the daughter, and, and the daughter prayer. against the mother, the mother-in-law against her mother, her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So a man's clothes man shall be made of his own household. It ain't about color. Right. That's who your foes are going to be. It's going to be they of their own household. If you don't get your shit together, and even if you get your shit together, it's still, it's still a possibility, man. What proves that is Job was perfect, Yahweh Shai was perfect, and he still fucked them up. So anytime, if you think that, oh, you're going to get by like grace, you're fucking foolish. Perfect people didn't get by. And Yahweh Shai had uh, the law and grace. And he still got his ass whipped by the most high. So what makes you think that you ain't gonna get touched, man? That's stupid. Unless you're in the mindset of a devil. Because a devil hasn't got touched. A devil hasn't got paid. He didn't, he didn't get the, the uh, justice system, the, the justice that's, that he, he's dying to really, really, really receive. That's why they want to feel pain. That's why they do, they want to do skydiving. They know they're supposed to pay for some shit, but the most high ain't making me pay, fine. I'll just have fun paying for it myself. Try to see if I can sneak my way, but remember, I, I killed myself like five times. Though. It don't fucking matter. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So you, and so Christmas, that's a tradition of men, rudiments of the world. Y'all people don't, uh, y'all don't even read y'all Bibles at home. Traditions of men, all these holidays are tradition of men. But this is holiday season coming up. Uh, you know, Halloween, all these new holidays coming up. So we, it's all these traditions about to start happening. These are the traditions of the so-called white man, not the most high. The most high just said, let me read it again. This Colossians 2 and 8. Beware least any man spoil you through vain, like you, through philosophies, in vain to see after tradition of men. Yeah, it don't matter what color you uh, So like after tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. So they, they want to go after the rudiments of the world. Everything is carnal in this life. You want to be carnal. You want to be carnal minded? Go ahead. The most I can destroy you. Point blank, period. Whoever believes shall not perish, but at eternal life. This is Isaiah 93. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with niggas. Your lips have spoken lies. What Johnny just told those uh, them girls over there, that they can, it don't matter how they pray, standing up in public, it don't matter. But that's not what the Father said. It says your tongue had, how you say that? Muttered for mercy. says none calleth for justice, nor any pleading for truth. Don't nobody want the truth. They trust in vanity. They want, they want people to lie to them. They, you know what I'm saying? They trust in vanity. Um, it says, that's, that's clear. Everybody want to... Uh, call it for justice, nor any plea for truth. They trust in vanity. Right, they trust they speak in... lies. They trust in vanity and speak lies, man. Man, vanity is, 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 oh, if I had this better job, then I could do more for the Lord. Or oh, yeah. if I had 
uh, this car and I can do this and this and that. Oh, I just need a house. Oh, I just need to get my nails done. Oh, I just need some new kicks. Oh, I just you going for all that uh, all that vain shit. You ain't never gonna receive the most out. You ain't never gonna receive. Y'all, y'all want to trust in those lies, man. You trust in, in your horses. The horses, meaning your cars, your chariots. Chariots going to your cars, going also to your airplanes. You trust in those things. What do you guys? It's a tragedy when the plane goes down. Actually, that, that's a blessing, man. That's a beautiful thing. Cause ain't nobody good. So the Most High just killed a bunch of wicked people. Why would I? Why would I cry over that? I'm not gonna cry. That's a blessing. Their lives fulfilled. They ain't gonna go through no more torment right now. The fuck? Why would I cry for that? No. I would jump for joy. You die? Good. Your lot's done. You don't have to be suffering no more. Why would I cry? I cry when I see a baby born. Why? Because that baby don't know the fucking suffering he's about to endure. But the people of the world, you guys joy when the baby comes and cry when somebody dies. Like he's supposed to stay here forever for Be happy for the family and loving your God. They, they, they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Mm -hmm. They, they had eat, drink, uh, and be I say carpet strikes, eggs, and, and weave the spider's web. And weave the spider's web, which is what, man? She's setting the traps. He that, he that uh, eateth of their eggs dieth. What? He that eateth of their eggs dieth. So all those that eateth of that spider's eggs, you're going to die, man. And that which is crushed breaketh out unto a viper. Come. Their web shall not become garment. <clears throat> neither shall they come, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity. And, and that's that's a true statement because they don't they don't take ownership for this no more. No, no, we, we didn't do that. Well, well only a portion of us did you know all you motherfuckers took partaker of that. Y'all shut down a whole fucking city just to see a nigga get hanged and burned. Just to see another nigga get hanged and burned. You get the person that did the offense, but that's not good enough for y'all white people. No, you got to kill off at least 50 niggas, women, and children till y'all like, okay, okay, now we'll stop. Man, now they'll never rise up against us ever again. We put them niggas back in their place. And that ain't nothing but the most high giving the power onto those so-called white people who is our older brother known as Esau, Edom, to whip our ass. Now, if you're in a family, your older brother always whip up the little brother's ass. I was an older brother to my little brothers and I whipped their ass. Not because I didn't like them, but because I knew that somebody else was gonna whip their ass and before he start crying in front of everybody and shame our name, I'm gonna whip his ass first, to heart. Cause I looked, I looked and I was like, oh. Right, so the Most High, he's whipping our ass to hearten us for what? For these days, man. So our ass whippings ain't in vain. That's why we can take it. Every time we come out here, we tremble. Every time we read scripture, we tremble. Every time we have to give you a breakdown, we tremble. Because this is the most highest word. This ain't our words. It's not the things that we want to say. If it, had, if it had my way, my personal way, I wouldn't be out here. I don't know how many times I said that. I would not be out here. I keep this shit to my fucking self. Go ahead, brother. It says, and the acts of violence in their hands. Mm. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their, their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting, the, wasting and destruction are in their paths. In their paths. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. It says, the way of peace they knew not. Why not? Because they're devils, mm -hmm. which goes back to the scripture where you have a shy, the prince of this world cometh and he has nothing in me. Look at it again. That's clear. The way, the way of peace they knew not. The way of peace they knew not. We love talking peace, but can't never find it. Thank you. all white men. They love talking about peace. But the world is not peaceful. And there, is, peaceful. No, and there oh. is no judgment in their goings. And what? There is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crook paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall no shall not know peace. Right, read that again. He said they said made a crook path. It says the way of peace they need not, and there is no judgment in their goings. And there is no judgment in their goings. They they have not made they have made them crook paths. They have made crook paths. That, that's the some of their laws. 
past you normal sex with moms, all that type like, of shit. What? And letting everybody be able, they trying to make everybody equal. That shit is dumb. They know most high gonna kill all faggots. If you think that if you think that you're gay, you're making it to heaven, you're a fucking idiot. Most high gonna kill you. You don't love everybody. That's that's stupid. What's the purpose of hell? Why why is there a hell if Jesus loved everybody? That makes no sense, man. That don't even make sense. He loved everybody, but it's a hell. That makes no sense. Go ahead. Whosoever is going therein shall not know peace. Shall yeah, shall not know peace. They shall not know peace. And we we live so that so far niggas Latinos and Native Americans don't know peace in this land. Look what's going on in Ferguson. Is that peaceful? Is what's going on in Ferguson peaceful right now? No. Because they're killing our people, man. Go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah's uh, 6, uh, 59 and 20. And the Redeemer shall come out of Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression, and Jacob saith the Lord. So, right. And the Redeemer shall come out of Zion. Who's the Redeemer? Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So that's clear, man. Jacob, which is Israel. Every time, <laughs> it, it don't matter. Every time I come out of scriptures, man, we're going to give you in spirit and the truth, whether you like it or not. This is Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 14. They, they have hurt, they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, peace, peace. When there, when there is no peace. And all these women, man, that's what they, they love to hear about peaceful words because they women. They don't want to hear about fighting and, and, and killing all the time because they women. They don't want to hear that. So when somebody come to them and say, hey, no, Jesus loves everybody. It's all about peace. They're going to believe it because, because they, they're easily uh, manipulated, man. What proves that is when you, when you take a chick out on the first date, and you take her ass to an action movie scene. She gonna go with you, mm -hmm. but she gonna be hinting that there's that drama scene over there that's less violent and more romance and drama and uh, more uh, about your emotions. Cause that's what they are. They go by the emotions. I feel, and, and a woman will tell you, well, I felt that you were cheating on me. What the fuck is you talking about? So now I gotta worry about your feelings too? If you feel that I'm cheating, then I, I must be cheating because you feel it. A woman's intuition is never wrong. Bullshit, my mom's been wrong plenty of times. Okay? My woman's been wrong plenty of times. My exes are still wrong. So, that woman's intuition is not 100% accurate. It's just meaning, hey, I don't know where he's at. I'm worried, I'm feeling insecure about myself because I think he might be touching somebody else, which is his legal fucking right if he wants to deal with another woman. If you're the head woman, know your fucking position, stand firm in it, be cool, be merry, and shut the fuck up. This is Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 9. They, they, this, uh, Salakia, that this is a rebellious people, uh -huh. lying children, uh -huh. children that would not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seer, see not, and to the prophets, Prophesize not unto what's right things. Speak unto what's smooth things. Prophesize deceit. And they want us to come out here and prophesy deceitfully to y'all. Y'all want us to hear, y'all want to hear soul saying words, peaceful words. We're going to give y'all the truth. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. Why? Uh -huh. The children of Israel are rebellious people. Uh -huh. you no, know, they don't want to hear the law. They, they want to hear what the fuck they want to hear. They want to do what they want to do. You know, they, they're the most rebellious people in the world. That's how you know that the Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans are the children of Israel. Because yeah. they're very rebellious. Oh, they don't listen to their mama. They don't listen to school. Niggas don't listen nowhere. They don't listen, on they don't listen to nobody. Niggas, all, all black men think they ain't own boss. Yep. Cause we want to be our own boss. We don't want to work for nobody. Yep. It is, it's supposed to be that way. We're not supposed to be working hey, for nobody. Hey, don't read These that. devils supposed don't to be working that. for us. Uh, that this is a rebellious people. A rebellious people. Mm -hmm. Now you got scoffers on the side that don't want. People to get edified. Yeah. Lying children. Lying children. Telling other people that we're lying. Yeah. We're smoking fucking cigarettes. You see the two commercials on TV, but you're still smoking cigarettes. So the most high gonna smoke your dumbass. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. They don't want to hear the law of the Lord. 
They want to hear smooth things. No, no, no. This, this, and you know it's scripture. We know it's scripture that everybody's going to hate on, but it still don't make sense. We the only ones out here reading the Bible for what it's worth freely in the cold, in the winter, in the rain, don't matter, for free for y'all. And y'all talking about we lying to y'all. What do we have to lie to y'all for? We're not getting no money from this. Come. Your pastor's getting paid to lie to y'all. Come. We're not getting paid for this. Your pastor's touching your brother. He said he ain't Exactly, man. Your pastor's is pimping y'all. The Catholics got a... Your pastor's taking everything from you, man. The Catholics got a, uh, a, a pedophile committee. What church need a pedophile committee, man? That that's mean, disgusting. That's so fucking you can't so church every church church that you have to. But the whole Catholic together. nation. They got to come together to discuss how they're gonna uh, present this to the, the world. The whole Catholic the nation that all them fucking men was fucking Jesus little boys. Man. Every man they, didn't, that's, they didn't want no girls. They rather fuck little boys. Mm -hmm. You can't put that on every church. We said the whole Catholic community. The Catholics are wrong. They think you're going to set us by a priest. We no, say to the seers, by your see son. not. Right, the people who can break down the scripture, they be like, see not. Mm -hmm. well, what are you talking about? Right. Right. And, and that same thing with those uh, uh, the women that you went ahead and you, you talked to. You don't go to a priest to right, keep going. say Hail Mary. And to the prophet, to say Hail Mary. That's not even the, that's not even the scripture. And to the prophet, prophesize not unto what's right things. Speak unto what's smooth things. Prophesize. Right. They don't, they don't want us to tell. They don't like these people. They don't want us to tell them the right thing. They want us to hear that deceit. They want to hear that uh, um, prosperity gospel. Find out mm -hmm. they, want to hear. they don't want to hear that America is going to be destroyed. Yes. That famine problems. is coming. That race war is coming. That Ebola is coming. That all these pestilences. No, that they all these pestilences are South coming. Africa. See, he said, no, it ain't. So he lacks faith. Yeah. You can clearly see that. It don't matter where uh, where you go in this earth. The Most High said He sent the curses upon the earth, man. And if the curses are upon the earth, that's it. You can't go nowhere. Why do you think Esau trying to go to the moon and trying to go to another planet? Because he knows that the curses are going to be on earth, and he ain't trying to take part of that fucking curse. That's why your celebrities want to have lots, taking out lots for the moon. Why the fuck do you need a shuttle to go out into outer space anything, anywhere? The fuck do you really want to find? Nobody can call it. Right? The only thing that you guys want, the only reason why you guys try to do outer space is to prove the Most High's word wrong so he won't come back for his children. That's the main reason why they go out of space. It's the main reason why they try to uh, count the sand in the sea. That's the main reason why they try to see the depths of the oceans. Because those are the things that the most I say, if you can count the fucking stars, then you can count my people. Now I'll, I'll discontinue them. But you can't. Because I made way too many. And as much as you count, I'm going to keep making more. So you're never going to be able to end it. Which means you're never going to be able to stop us. There's more Israelites on earth than there are any other nation. But the Israelites are going to pay a hefty price. Now, we got to pay the hefty price. All other nations must pay that hefty price. Well, you bitches are under us. Even though right now we're under you, you are really under us still. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 43. Rejoice, O ye nation, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversary and will and will be merciful unto his land and, and to his people. So that's a clear cut, man. He said he's going to avenge the people that got us. Yep. He's going to avenge us, man. Yeah, buddy. And he's going to be merciful unto his people and to his land. Merciful. Right. He just said he's going to kill the ones that had us in his slave. Yep. Where does this uh, lake of fire come into the slave? Well, let me just get this out because y'all talking about that. This, no, this is Isaiah 16, 12. It says, for the nation uh, and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Ye, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Jesus uh -huh. died for every man and woman. So all nations that don't come. Matter of fact, Rabbi, go ahead and get on that. Uh, we bring it out again. Yeah. So I've talked to you about that much. This is Isaiah 60 and 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Shall what? Shall perish. No, you know the fucking white man don't want to serve us, so they gonna what? They gonna perish. perish. 
and the Moabites, whoever don't want to serve us, they're going to perish. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. We're going to be fucking all these nations up. They're going to be utterly wasted. That's clear, man. <laughs> no, nope. They're going to be tributaries unto us. Gun. They're going to bring us their garters, their gold, their silver, their herbs, whatever they have in their land. They're going to bring it unto us. Jesus died for every man and woman. Now you white people are the devil. Jesus is going to the slave reports his Bible. Is that a good Isaiah 60 and 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. So anybody that don't want to serve these scriptures for what they say, most likely they say they're going to kill them. All nations. This is Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good, good tidings unto the meek. Good tidings unto the meek. The meek needs to be humble. You know, a lot of these people are very proud. They're not humble at all. So that's why they can't get it. You know, that's why it's not good tidings unto them, because they're proud. They can't see how the white man is the government. You know? he, he has sent me. To bind up the broken, the broken hearted. And we're broken hearted because we're in hell. We're going through a whole lot of shit. You know, each brother to each his own. They got, uh, they got different obstacles that we're facing. Like some not being able to see our children. Some having to argue with our woman. Some having to um, struggle find somewhere to live. Some struggle looking for work. You know, we just some having to battle Satan in our mind. We just uh, yeah. struggling through different shit. To, pro other to proclaim, oh, to proclaim liberty to the captives. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Captives, which means what? We still enslaved. Uh, we still no, in captivity. We're all fucking sinners. Shut up. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. The Most High is gonna come and save us out of this captivity mm -hmm. because we are bound in this captivity. Uh -huh. How that's gonna happen? Through the chariots, the UFOs. You know. This is Jeremiah, chapter 25, chapter 25, verse 29. For lo, I began to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, and shall ye be utterly unpunished. Ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, saith the Lord of hosts. So he's going to start at his city, which is called by his name. Then he's gonna go and everywhere else. He gotta start with his people first. Yep. Which, and is, that, which goes to the the scripture. Uh, start at my sanctuary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody give me that. <laughs> so the Most High gonna he gonna destroy his own people, and then he gonna deal with these other nations. A lot of you Jakes, a lot of you Negroes, about to start catching that Ebola, man. Jesus died for every man and woman. See, the first one to die in America was what? A black man, so-called black man, Liberia. Fucking He could have been an Israelite. He could have been, it's possible. Yeah. All these niggas gonna start Jesus catching died for every man. A lot of these niggas gonna start dying by police more rapidly. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna start robbing you, kicking you in your door. Like the, the apostles been saying it's gonna be a whole bunch of more Mike Browns, man. Yes. Uh, you look like you're interested. Come and ask your question, man. Don't let that fat ass, uh, don't let that fat ass tell you so you don't come over here, man. Don't go by that evil. You're you the only Satan out here. I love Jesus. That's not his name, though. Yes, it is. I can prove it to you. <laughs> In American English, Most Jesus you, Christ is the name of our Messiah. Jesus not. Shut the fuck up. The no, son of God's name. No, it's not. It's Jesus Christ in America, in American English. In American no. English, and Jesus derives from Latin. If I you fucking can. idiot, man. Jesus derived care. from Latin, but it's American name. His name could be Jehovah. He's right. He's called Jehovah. Yahshua. Jesus. It's, it's not right. Go no down Those there with that shit. People. This is Ezekiel 9. And two, and be well. Yahweh, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna start with the top. Jesus. Ezekiel 91. Jesus died for everyone. I could say, he cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, 
which lieth towards the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a rider's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the power of Israel, not all nations, and the glory of the power of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man cloth with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Through the midst of Jerusalem, through the midst of the city. The Most High is only concerned with his own people. Which is where we at. And now you white people are the devil. Jesus died for you, slave, except oh, Jesus. You. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that side. And set a and mark her. upon the forehead of the men that side. And that's talking about the elect because they're the only ones who see all this bullshit. Mm -hmm. So they're like, what the fuck? You know, they're the only ones who can actually see. The scripture says, he that had eyes to see, let him see. Come. He that had ears to hear, let him hear. Come. That they cry, and that cry for all the abominations that be done Jesus in the midst thereof. That's just like what, what I said earlier, that cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. He a cop, he an agent, man. He an agent. He probably worked for the government. And to the others. And to the others, which represent Johnny Bravo, these are others. He said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Go, it's going to be a time when we're going to go after him and kill his ass. Yeah, we're going to fuck him up. Like. Fuck him. John, I'm telling you, man, we're going to fuck you up, bro. We really is. Let not your eyes spare. So we're not going to spare you. What, we don't give a fuck about you. If someone said you ain't working up against the word of the Most High. Come. What if somebody Let said not that about your eyes you? Spare. You're not going to spare him. Oh, Neither have we pity. You're not going to have no pity. You had your chance no. with God. Slay utterly. You're going to slay utterly. Old and young. Old and young. That means you and your children. That Come. Your fucking your, your, your grandbaby too, man. We're going to kill her Both maids. Both maids and little children. Most high is not a respecter of person. Come. You say both maids, women, children. The grand, the grand child gonna die because of you, man. The most and gonna kill woman, your grandkid, man. Jesus died for but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Yeah, let's, say, like, well, let's say anything Jesus about Jesus died for every man and woman. Mm -hmm. yeah, and because the woman are already that's gonna let you out here by the end. That's right. And yeah. begin at my sanctuary. Oh, we gonna start at Israel. You just have to be at Israel. Every man and woman. And he ain't gonna say he's not gonna bow down to us. This is Joseph. Joseph said the same thing to Joseph. Yep. We ain't gonna bow down to you. Because they, they didn't know what he was talking They just was thinking, Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah, they just dreaming dreams. Right. You know what I mean? They didn't, it don't matter. Just because it's saying one way, that don't mean like, you know what I mean? It plays out in a worldly way. So these people, they don't understand the scriptures, man. It's gonna play out because I'm telling you, man. You gonna, I'm telling you. You're going to wish you would have never did what you did, but it's going to be too Jesus late. Most likely, fuck you up. He man. think this is a joke. He yeah. Think, he he probably is, think you're getting paid or something. He is, this is a sport to this man. Yeah, he think this is a game. No, so it ain't a game. Yeah, it's a game to right? you. He think it's a game. Then Come they here, begin like as the ancient men which were before the house. He's just got like for every man and woman. So he's like an ancient man. Mm -hmm. This is Isaiah. He is. He said he's a grandpa, great-grandpa. This is Isaiah. 62 and 1 and 7. I will maintain the loving kindness of the Lord and the praise of the Lord according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us. On us. And, 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 the great, and the great goodness toward the house of Israel. Toward the house of who? The house of Israel, which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. I wish I could According to his mercies, according to his loving kindness. Go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man hath an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. God. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's right. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. I mean, all you so-called white people going into slavery according to the Bible. And two-thirds of our own people, you motherfuckers are going to get put to death here. Brutally put to death. With, yeah, fatalities. Mortal Kombat type shit, Killer Instinct type shit. That's what it's gonna be like. Killer Instinct, alright? With that, we're gonna say shalom. 
All power, glory, and honor to yeah, your by I send me outside. Give our honors to the elders slash apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom and salutation to our brothers in the four corners, pumping out this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity, week in and week out. Shalom, Mark Young. Shalom. Jesus died for every man and woman.